Bob Chastain, our president and CEO of the zoo, and I wanted to have more of an effect for conservation, in the field especially. So in order to raise more funds to give to field conservation efforts and to have our guests engage more and be more aware of our conservation efforts, we came up with an idea called the Quarters for Conservation. We charge an extra 25 cents that quarter, then we turn into a, a token. You get a token every time you come to the zoo, whether you're a member or not. Everyone gets a token and you get to vote for one of six conservation projects. I'm gonna vote for the penguins today. As it goes through the flapper, we also register a vote so people can see how their favorite projects are doing. Whether they're ahead, you can vote for the underdog or go with the winner. I'm gonna also vote, you can vote as often as you like. <laughs> vote for vultures and little kids can vote here and again, it uh, tallies the vote and the painted CDs will turn. So it's a fun voting device. You don't have to just use tokens, you can also use quarters. So it really generates real funding. Last year we generated over $60,000 for outside of the zoo field conservation work. So how that funding works is everyone gets charged the extra 25 cents. That 25 cents is designated for conservation work. 50% of that goes towards these new projects every year. The other 50% goes towards our ongoing conservation efforts, which we have several of them. One big one is our black-footed ferret program. We have been breeding black-footed ferrets and releasing them to the wild since 1990. Breeding black-footed ferrets is a full-time job, and it's year-round. Even though they only breed once a year, we have to keep tabs on their weight, make sure they're not getting too fat, too thin. Once a year, they'll breed, and um, that offspring then she'll have uh, offspring 42 days later and within 35 days they're eating meat they are strict carnivores um, and about 60 to 90 days they can go for release to the wild released anywhere there's a good habitat the prairie dogs each black-footed ferret that goes out to the wild needs at least 100 acres for one black-footed ferret to survive so all these animals need space. Our Wyoming toads and our black-footed ferrets and Mexican wolves are all things in our backyard that the Palmer Land Trust is saving habitat for.